neighboring deposits. There are new questions tonight about President Obama's $75 billion mortgage rescue plan. Now, this program is intended to help millions of struggling Americans, including low-income homeowners and homeowners who receive more than, who owe more than their houses are worth. But many wonder if the program will work at all. The Obama mortgage rescue plan projects some 9 million homeowners will qualify. Even those whose house has lost value, which is one of every five mortgages in the country. The hemorrhage of foreclosures in this country has been unrelenting. 2.2 million foreclosures in 2008. Two and a half million expected this year, and another two and a half million more expected in 2010. Even the White House admits its plan won't help everyone. This isn't for somebody who, again, uh, may have some means but bought a house far larger than one uh, they could ever hope to afford. The plan rewards people that play by the rules and ensures that the system uh, can't continue to be gamed by people. The program, like previous government mortgage rescue plans, is voluntary. Few banks were willing to do mortgage workouts in the past, but this time around there are incentives. Banks will earn fees by offering loan modifications. John Taylor of the National Community Reinvestment Coalition says the program will not be able to help everyone at once, especially those who have a loan through a smaller bank. You talk about you know, uh, folks like uh, uh, Wells and Bank of America, uh, these are big institutions that are already shifting staff, that have already built up staff capacity, who could really hit the ground running on, on modifying a lot of these loans. Some of the smaller guys, uh, it's going to take some time to get up to speed. Sharon Price of the National Housing Conference says oversight of the program will be another hurdle. There's going to be a flood of, of families trying to get help through this program. The government is going to have to play a major role in, in overseeing this program and making sure the funds are being spent correctly. The plan is also limited to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac held loans. Those loans account for 60% of mortgages. But millions of homeowners will not qualify for the president's plan and will remain in dire straits. Now, President Obama's plan does have the advantage of learning from past mistakes. Former President Bush's hope for homeowners was an absolute disaster, Confuse, uh, confusing, severely restrictive, barely accessible. Joining me now for more on President Obama's mortgage plan, we're joined in Dallas by Richard Bittner, associate publisher of Housing Wire magazine. And Richard is also the author of the book, Confessions of a Subprime Lender. In our DC bureau, Kathleen Day of the Center for Responsible Lending joins us. And thank you both for being with us. Um, Richard, I'd like to get your assessment of this. Um, critics say it's not broad enough. And yet um, there, are, there are many points uh, about the way this is structured that seem very good. What's your assessment? Well, I think it is a mixed bag, and it's a great point, Kitty. I mean, one of the things that I really do like is that the administration kind of went in with its eyes wide open, meaning it understood that it had to compensate servicers, uh, simply because, not because servicers haven't wanted to get involved in making modifications, it's simply been a practicality of the business. You know, the average servicing operation, you've got 500 loans to every uh, servicing agent, simply isn't built for mass modifications. Uh, the problem is, and this is the exact same thing, you know, I said when the Hope for Homeowners program was created back in late July when I came on this network, you know, it is still largely a voluntary program. It is still largely a program that I don't know if it necessarily has.